all right y'all you know what i'm saying you see me in the flesh this video is a little different y'all i just really want to see um this whole situation with the memphis thing because i find it to be really messed up really not right and it's crazy you know it's just straight up crazy how the world is you know and stuff people just do especially people you think are supposed to protect you because it's a part of their job they just show you they don't really care too much and they're gonna do what they want to do and yeah i just you know it's i know it's a sensitive thing um but you know i like to tap into everything i can when it comes to my channel leads because you know people that don't know about it well now you know because you've seen this video you know and it's just bringing awareness you know and it's crazy so we finna get into it you know um let's do it i just want to say though too before we get into this video though I just want to say though to y'all before we get into this video, like, I think it's crazy. I hope this video is not that bad. I might not even show the video. I might just show y'all the audio because, you know, it might be a little gruesome, a little nasty. And if I can't even bear it, I wouldn't want y'all to see it either. So I'm going to try to save y'all that by, you know, y'all just listening to the audio of it. But this is crazy, y'all. Let's get into it. Now to that breaking news out of Memphis where police have just released video of the beating of a man who died as police tried to take him into custody. k okay, 2 Christian Captain has been looking now over that video and joins us now live from the newsroom. Christian, uh, Crazy, we know that this bro. video is graphic. Killing in fact, officials who had previously seen the footage <laughs> called it appalling. Uh, tell us more about what it shows. Yeah, certainly appalling, shocking. There are lots of words that you can use to describe Stuff this. That is exactly what we'd heard from Tyree Nichols' family and from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation in anticipation of this video being released. And as video. expected, the video shows the brutal encounter as five Memphis police officers were trying to take Bye. Tyree Nichols into custody. Bye, we want to warn viewers that the oh, video one? is graphic. Hey, and the video that we are w showing you first is a video at the second Second scene. This is after uh, Nichols was initially uh, pulled over. And in okay. that video, you can see he was already on the ground after he was pulled over at that wow. other location. He's, the officers in the video repeatedly and punch and kick Nichols over and over again in the video. Uh, wow. At one point, you can see they stand him up, they hold his hands behind his back and begin punching and crazy, hitting him bro. and wrestle him down to like, the ground again. Really At crazy, various points in time in the video, they also kick him. They, now, they body worn camera of the same no incident, uh, we're able to actually hear what the officers are saying in that very uh, scene that you are watching right there. Those officers repeatedly order Nichols to, quote, give them their hands. They pepper spray him punch him and kick wow. him over and over again, wrestling his hands like, behind like, his back. Now, in an earlier video, like, we saw police initially nothing. pull over Nichols. You can see in body Why cam video on that. Like uh, we're reviewing that video right now where they pull what Nichols like over and what? within seconds, they draw firearms and begin shouting at him to get out of his car wow. and lie on the ground at that initial scene. Numerous officers this. This wrestle crazy, him to the ground. Bro. At one point, Nichols says to the officers, I am on the ground, and man, you guys are doing a lot. The officers then threaten to tase him, and at some point, Nichols wow, like breaks free and up, runs bro. away from those five officers. Like, one of the officers up, at like, that initial scene. I, I, I don't even know if I even want to finish this video, y'all. Like, It's just crazy. Like, they, they don't even got a reason to be doing this. They just doing it just to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy to me. Because a lot of the time when it comes to stuff like this, it, it's a, you know what I'm saying? You know, it'd be mainly another race doing this. But the fact that it's your own people and it's five of them and not one person is stopping it, it looks like everybody is kind of interacting in it or just moving in it. And it's like, for what? On top of that, the man died because of this. And, and some of them probably got kids or they got a family or something and they just doing stuff like this. Fires his taser at him. It's unclear if he strikes Nichols, who has broken Tasing away. Him, the officer's demeanor change as they radio for backup and then discuss amongst themselves how Nichols got away. All of that, again, happening on the first two minutes of that body cam video. Now, we did That's hear crazy, from uh, Nichols' mother earlier, who had asked for peace as people see this video. She says that she knows it's going to be difficult to watch, 
and that she did not watch it herself, but she is asking for uh, justice for her son as people review this video for the first time. I always gonna get that. And I want to say to the five police officers that murdered Man, my, my son. Her too, though, cause that's messed up. You also disgraced your own families when you did this. But you know what? I'm going to pray for you and your families. And again, we're giving you a little context here again that this all started January 7th when police pulled Nichols over on suspicion of reckless driving at around 8.30 in the evening. The police initially said that Nichols ran from that scene and he was injured as like, officers this, arrested him. him he was taken to a Memphis area hospital after he complained about, quote, shortness of breath. Three days later, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation said that Nichols had died by last Sunday. Memphis police That's said crazy. an internal investigation was underway. And then last Friday, Memphis PD said its officers no had reason. violated policy and fired all five officers involved. And Those five officers have. were arrested yesterday and, and charged and with second degree murder. Hand, hand, now, some hand, cities hand, here hand. in the Bay Area are already That's preparing exactly for the possibility did, of protests. In the last two days, I've had discussions with San Francisco police officers and with sheriff's deputies who right all now, say bro. they are on alert in San Francisco. Like you can see them there, barricades around San Francisco's Hall of Justice with a narrow gap to limit how many people can approach the building at one time. Now, we also heard mm. that there is a solidarity rally planned for Sunday in Oakland, and we are already hearing about planned protests in Chicago and Washington, D.C., and we will, of course, continue to Crazy, monitor bro. local developments here. Again, uh, all I can tell you from having seen that video That's for myself... Listen, bro, listen, listen, listen. This is all I want to say to y'all. Be careful, bro. Just be careful in general because you can't trust anybody now. You you really can't trust anybody when it comes to random trying to protect you or anything. You don't know who got good intentions for you or who got bad intentions because stuff like this is just messed up. And nobody's outside. Like, it's just sad because I promise you for... But even as a, I don't know, even if it was somebody outside, they probably was too scared to even say something. And it's five of them. And it, are we in a world now where you have body cams, the cameras above, like y'all knew y'all was gonna get caught. Y'all can't tell me y'all didn't know that y'all were gonna get caught with this. Y'all can't tell me. Y'all didn't think nobody was gonna see this. Y'all just did this for no reason for a good what? I don't even know how long they was beating a man for, but beating him enough, doing enough to make him pass, that's that's crazy, bro. It's one thing to beat on him, but making the man pass away, I know if 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 none of them feel bad, they just messed up, bro. They just messed up, but I had to do this video, you know what I'm saying, to bring awareness, cause it's just not right overall in general. I don't like it, I don't agree with it, I think it's messed up. Um, it's crazy out here, you know, justice for him, you know what I'm saying, y'all support, be sure to like the video, you know what I'm saying, send love, spread the love, spread awareness to this too, for people that don't know about it, to try to get justice for this man, I don't know what it is that they can do, but I know they can do something, make them man's I don't know what they sick of either, that's crazy though, I don't know what they got for sentence wise, but and I, I, I didn't see not one of them not walk away from the video. No, like nobody stopped anything. So all of them need to get locked up. That's just how I'm, that's how I'm feeling. That's what I see. But y'all let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on the video in the comment down below. Um, yeah, don't forget this video a thumbs up. And you know, I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Black line.